I'm going to talk with you about washing your woolens and I'm using Euclam with eucalyptus in it. Eucalyptus is a natural moth and flea inhibitor. I'm just putting a drop in my basin of tepid water. I'm swishing that around. And what I have to wash here is a mohair hat. It's beautiful. It's got a pom-pom on it. And sometimes on hats, they can get a little bit soiled around the, the neckline. So you can put Euclam full strength. Just pour a little bit on. Rub it in. Let that soak for a little while. And then I will submerge this directly into the basin. Euclan is great for all natural fibers, any kind of wool, cashmere, angora, mohair, alpaca, kiviac, as well as cotton and synthetics. So I'm just squeezing the water and Euclan through the hat to saturate all the fibers. And then I will let that soak for 15 to 30 minutes. It doesn't matter, you can let it soak longer if you need to. If you forget that you've got it in the water, that's okay. Walk away, let it do its thing. And then later on I come back and I squeeze through it again, making sure I'm being very gentle on the pom-pom. I don't want it to get tangled up. And again, I'm going to work at that spot that I spot treated that had extra soil on it. And then gently lift it out, squeeze out as much water as I can. This hat is fleece lined and so it's perfectly safe to be washed. Lay it on your towel and roll it up, squeezing as best as you can to remove the excess water. And then I'll just give it a fluff. One nice thing to do with a hat is to roll up another towel and put it inside. I can lay it flat or I can have it sitting upright like this to dry. Always dry your items out of direct sunlight and heat. And now I can use this water over again. I'm going to wash a darker color. This is an alpaca scarf. So when you're washing multiple items, start with your lightest color and work your way up to your darkest. And this is a beautiful scarf. I'll submerse it. Because eucalyptus is no rinse, it's very gentle on your fibers. You're saving water, you're saving wear and tear on your garment, but there's a touch of lanolin in the formula, so it helps to soften up those woolens and other natural fibers. It acts as a conditioner as well. So again, I will let that soak for 15 to 30 minutes. And then when I come back, I'm going to very gently squeeze through it. You don't want to agitate wool because you could start the, the matting and felting process. So I'm being very gentle. I'm just gonna remove this out of my way. This scarf is fairly heavy. If you were doing a sweater, I recommend using your washing machine. And if you do have something large or heavy and you want to wash it by hand, you can even put it in your washing machine and just spin out the excess water on your washing machine's spin cycle. So again, roll it in the towel squeezing. You might need to do this two or three times if it's really saturated and heavy with water. And then what I would do is get a nice fresh clean towel that's dry. I'd fluff this up, shape it as I'm laying it out. And then on the next day, I would change the towel out, change the position, and it will dry just perfectly.